Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Aaron here. I'm the founder and CEO of Extra Triple A Games, also known as a movement designed to more or less be about GTA 6 everywhere, um, Asian as well, to be honest with you. But a movement designed to inspire ambition, inspiration, and just keep you get out of your own way and help you chase your gamer's paradise. Um, this will be very, very difficult to very difficult to say. Um, definitely more difficult than the message I put out on the tenth of uh, September. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over a whole little frogginess. Um, when I put out uh, the message that essentially said that I want to do the whole six million dollar, ten million dollar thing and help out Rockstar, Rocket Boy. GTA 6 everywhere in Asian <laughs> and I've been holding back tears it's been very difficult it's been very sad I just can't help myself but crying 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 but um, you'll notice this room's empty and the reason for that is because my sister is at her home care facility which is 10 minutes away um, in the neighboring town next to me and she's finishing up um, a, a uh, two night, uh, two night, um, overnight to get her acclimated with that roof and that and that new way of life. And her two providers joined, them, which are absolutely wonderful. They're wonderful people. I feel safe with them. They're welcoming. They're understanding, and they're getting acclimated with Alyssa. Um, that's her, her name. I, I said her name before, though, honestly, because you know it takes a lot with Alyssa. A lot of redirecting, a lot of refocusing. She's got two brain disorders. She's got PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. A little bit of autism, a little bipolar, so it's uh, emotions fluctuate. It's never a one-to-one -one thing with her, as I've said very many times with um, the home care, uh, uh, respite care, you can see uh, Comfort Keepers, kind of a cute name. That's been coming in here for four or five, uh, probably about six, seven months now. But the whole thing of it is, is that I haven't contacted um, my sister's resource coordinator or her guardian, but I'm going to reach out to them and the provider Joanne. But I'm going to reach out to them. It's tough. It's real tough. Breaks my heart, honestly. I think of my dad. I think of how things used to be, but things can change in an instant. But I'm going to get in contact with uh, my sister's resource coordinator and her guardian and green light her next chapter gonna make sure she doesn't miss out she has a wonderful life she she gets to live her life like my dad always wanted to he always tried to but you know he couldn't he couldn't do that and from there um, I'm gonna see if I can try to stay in this hotel it's the quiet time right now they they do um, it, uh, It does get, you know, it does slow down here, um, starting from March, uh, 15th of March to the 15th of May. So I want to see how long I can stay here and have this be my group. The reason for that is because I'm so used to everything here, and you know, it's just, it's just comfortable, it's relaxing. I'm kind of settled into that. You know, it, it, it feels like a home away from home, or what I call a home tell. It's a home because you can tell. And, you know, I'll be able to do that for a few months because I do got about uh, 85, 8600, 91, 9200 on reserve right now. Obviously, it can't be a permanent thing. Um, I do have to do a psych evaluation, and what that's going to do is try to get me Social Security and just try to get some money, get kicking my way, you know, a couple hundred bucks. If I can get like 500, 600, 700, maybe 800 bucks a month, you know, I don't want to say I'm living off the system, but I've made the sacrifice, like I've said in my recent Twitter posts saying, I've taken care of my sister, you know, I paid my fair share of my blood, and even my blood pressure, and it's, you know, it, it's it's one of the hardest things anyone could do, because I've been around my sister for the past three years, 24-7, and it's been the pride and joy of my life to take care of that young lady, you've seen it in the vlogs, you've seen the difficulty, you've seen the smiles, you've seen everything that there is, that, that beautiful little soul has to offer the world. She has a lot, a hell of a lot to offer the world. 
And if the world could be like her, you know what, it'd be a damn well better place. But I want to make sure I get her off, that she doesn't miss out, that she doesn't, you know, you know, have to continue living in a 200 square foot, you know, room. And she'll get back to doing the things that she likes to do, you know, the food, you know, I bet she likes to use an iPad. I just kind of felt so, so bad because I felt like I restricted her life because we were in a hotel. I mean, it's a shared space, so you know, you got to keep your voice down and you don't want to get complaints coming through. We only had like three complaints come through, and that's incredible for being here. We've almost been here two years. 2021, 2020, that amazes me. And it's been such a wonderful and happy experience and positive experience that we needed. So I'm hoping that, you know, like I said, I'll be able to get the gold. I'll be able to get the glory as soon as my sister makes her transition, the second chapter of her life. I'm going to be a billionaire. I'm going to get rewarded. I'm going to get recognized for GTA, doing my work with GTA 6 everywhere and a little bit of an uh, agent. And it's going to be the most incredible finish you've probably ever seen and don't want to miss out. I've tried to do my absolute best. I hope I've, I've sacrificed for my sister. I've sacrificed for her. So I've been sacrificed for it everywhere. I put labels on my car. I put a GTA 6 label on my car. I marketed. I advertised all. That's why it was called Marketing on Wheels. And I want to live my life. I want to cash out. I, I don't want to deal with any more stress, any more BS. I'll, you know, donate to charities. You know, show what I'm made of. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. And I, you know, I thank you so, so much for all your support, all your love, you know, just, you know, helping me out. And I can't help but think, maybe I've talked to, you know, chatted with uh, Leslie Benzie at one point. You never know. But what I will tell you is, life can be tough. you got to tough it out. you got to not back down, look the other way, take life head strong and on. And if you do those things... Believe in yourself. You got the believing power. You can be the next GTA 6. You can be the next hero. But it comes from within the pulse. Right here. It comes down here. Might be here, right? But it comes up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You could be a early bloomer. You could be a slow riser. But anyone, anyone can unlock the gamer's paradise. There's plenty more on the way for me. I'm only just, you know, beginning. Once I get that money, I'm gonna number one, pay up my mother's house. She can live there. She won't have any B yet, won't have out that anymore. Uh, number two, uh, what, what is it? Uh, I get, a, uh, get a car for myself, maybe. Maybe, because I'm not so good about the idea of being on the road, because it's just so crazy out there. Uh, number three, donations, charities, Red Cross, Ch St. Ch Children's Hospital, um, you know, all that, uh, Wounded Warriors, all that. Um, number four, oh, what? Uh, yeah, there's, I forget, but that's, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of the gist, you know, that's kind of the gist of it. I do believe this is going to happen, and it's going to be great. It just goes to show you, you can spend living in the kingdom. You know, I hope that'd be a great song with GTA 6 too. I'd love someone to do that out. The Dalton, uh, Dalton Lane guy, I hope is going to do that. But that's where I'm at right now. It's tough, but you know what? You gotta, you gotta do things you don't like to do in life. You take the emotions out, they happen quicker. You gotta make sacrifices. And if there's one thing that's true about my dad. He was all about that. I miss that man terribly. Love you, pal. Miss you terribly. I know you're proud of me and Alyssa. We're gonna make it out better than okay. You know what? You're gonna make it out better than okay too. As long as you believe in yourself. I'm Aaron, found and CEO of Like Games. Crazy bitch, clever, and historic as you come to know. Be well, be safe, be about your ambition. Hug your loved ones always, because tomorrow I guarantee. Let them know. They need to know. Thank you so, so much. I'll be back. See you soon. I'm going to put this up on my YouTube. I really do appreciate you watching. Looking out for me.
and so on. All right, take care.